Greetings you all in the name of Jesus, guys. Amen. Say amen. Amen. I'm happy to be with you here. I know that is the will of Jesus Christ when I'm here. The Lord Jesus Christ who loves you. He died on the cross for you. And, and he has risen from the grave. <laughs> and he is alive forevermore. When you are seeing us here, we are sent by Jesus Christ to witness about him. To tell you that he loves you. And he wants to give you eternal life. This is a, the life above death. The life above the grave. The life which you will live forever. When you are where there will be no more pains. We were listening <laughs> the old man when he was welcoming us he told us about the problems he has about the snakes which are coming into his house. But the life which I'm talking about, which you receive from Jesus Christ, where you are going to live forever, there will be no more death, no more graves, no more sicknesses, no more snakes which will be attacking you. This is the life from Jesus Christ, which you receive only by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord. You accept him with all your heart. Then he will live with you until you are transformed to another life, which is life eternal. So do you want Jesus Christ? Yes. Amen. So I want to read the Bible for you. After reading the Bible, I will make the prayer. The prayer of making you to receive Jesus. After received him, know that you will be no longer alone, you will be having Jesus. And you will learn to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read from the book of Romans chapter 1. <laughs> Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. I'm reading verse 4, uh, the mana ya 5 and 6. Yabotano, 4, 5, 6. Uh -huh. It says, 
and who through the spirit of holiness was appointed the Son of God in power by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Interpret verse 4 only. Jesus Christ was appointed as the Son of God. Jesus Christ was appointed as the Son of God. By his resurrection. Resurrection from the dead. Verse 5 it says, Through him we receive grace. And the apostleship to call all the Gentiles to the obedience that comes from faith. Faith for his name's sake. And you also among those Gentiles who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has called you. And he wants you to belong to his kingdom. The life which we are living now in this body. This body is a cover. The real man is the spirit. So, but today when you are still in this body, Hear the call of Jesus Christ and receive his kingdom. And you belong to the kingdom of God. And you will be called the children of God. And only through faith in God. Say amen. 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 They, are they are good in amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm ready to see you when you'll be calling the name of Jesus Christ every day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading again the Gospel of John chapter 1. Verse 12 and 13. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name. He gave them the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent. No of human decision. Or a husband's will. But born by God. When you believe Jesus, you become a child of God. Because you've believed the name of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So I want to make the prayer of salvation. I need you to open your heart and receive this Jesus. Jesus Christ who will give you eternal life. And again, 
you will answer all your problems. Mikhape utla araba matata world. I'm gaupa ike matata world. Problems in your home. Matata mo lape. Problems in your body. Matata mo milingwaga. Problems in your children. Matata mo bane baga. Jesus Christ is the answer of the world. Jesus Christ is the answer of the world. And he wants to be the answer of your home. And the answer of your life. I'm happy to see you. When you have, us, when you have accepted us. Do you know that you have accepted Jesus Christ? When we are here. We will bless this place in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So lift up your hands. You. <coughs> lift up your hands. This is your special time. This special time of receiving Jesus. Lord your I want to make this prayer follow me. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm receiving you as my Lord and my Savior. Give me new life, Lord. And forgive me all my sins. Today, I believe. That you are Jesus Christ. You are the Son of God. So from today you are my Savior. I have received a new life. Amen. Amen. Let me give you this short counseling. Make it ahead. Today, you are a changed person. You are born again. And your names are written in the book of life. From today, all your sins are forgiven. You, you have started new life. So help yourself by sharing with your neighbors and your family members. Tell them that. From that day, I've received Jesus. As my Lord yeah. and my Savior. Lord Jesus. 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 Lord
So we are going to give you the Bibles. Can we see those who are able to read? Baba Kwanangubala. Those who will be reading, they will share with you what they've read about. Baba Kwanangubala Bible is a very important thing. It is a very important thing. It is a very important thing. It is a very important thing. But from today, start making prayer in the name of Jesus. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray in the evening. Also before you sleep, pray. And ask Jesus to protect you. So in the afternoon, come together and read the word the Bible, and share the word of God. Things will be well with you. Say Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not forget that from today you're born again.
Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ.